YouTube. Today I'm opening the Busby Air Warriors Overlord. Here's the front of the box. And here's the back of the box. This gun shoots up to 30 feet and it comes with 30 darts and 30 shells. Now we're gonna open it. So here are the 30 darts and the darts are yellow with purple suction cups. Let's open this now. Okay, so here are the 30 shells, and all the shells are orange. When you take the shells out, they come in four pieces, like this. It's very easy to put the shells together, because there's one part here that's open, and one part that's closed. First, you put this part right here, and the closed part first. You see this, this closed? Like, like this. And then you just push it down and it connects together. And the other ones we've already done, so now here's the whole bullet belt, and you can take it apart. Here's the blaster itself. So this gun has one built-in sight. Um, it has a back sight right here, and it has two sling mounts, one in the back and one in the front, so you can put a strap through it, um, and you can walk around with the strap so you don't have to carry it. This um, sling will carry it for you. Now. Here's the tripod. So, the tripod attaches to the bottom of the gun, like this. You squeeze these two buttons right here together, you put the tripod in and let go, and the tripod is now locked in. And then, you take this leg out, this, and this leg out, and you put it here like this. And it's supposed to stay like this. And it can rotate 360 degrees. So you can have a tripod and you can be like, boom, 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 like that. Now we're gonna put the belt on. When you put the belt on, all you need to do is there's this level right here and you need to pull it back and push this up. And then you're just gonna put the belt in like this and close it. And then the belt is in and you can just pull the trigger and fire. But before a trigger to fire, you need to put the batteries in. So, when you put the batteries in, um, there's gonna be this thing on the side of the gun, this cover. You're just gonna unscrew this screw right here. Now we just need to put the batteries in. There, when you pull the trigger, if it makes a sound and it works, then you're ready to go. So just put the cap back on. Put the cover back on, actually. So then, whenever you're using it, you can just put the belt here. And close this. You'll see all the shells pop out here. And you can take the belt apart and make it as small as you want or as big as you want. You can even do one shell gun. One shell only machine. Fire! See, you can even do one shell only, but that's kind of pointless. So, but you need to put the darts in the shell, so. There's two sides of the shell, a skinny side and a fat side. The dart first goes into the skinny side. Don't put the darts in like this all too high. Make sure they're all very low, like as low as they can go. All the darts. Okay. So loaded and now we're gonna try it. Dun, 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 dun. What would be cool is if it came with the box on the side like some real machine guns have and stores all, stores all the bullets you could walk around with it. It'd be good if they did that. That could be the idea. 
but it's still a good machine gun. It's a good defense weapon. Okay, we should shoot now. Fire! The attackers are coming, fire! I'm missing one bullet, but I can still shoot it. I have, I don't have 30, but I have 29. So, from right here to all the way up there is exactly 27 feet. This gun says to shoot up to 30 feet, so it should be able to hit the roof. So it's probably not a good, not a very good idea to do this test, and we're not going to do it actually, because we shouldn't really hold the gun up and hold the belt up with it. But the couple of bullets we did shoot did hit the roof, so this gun does shoot 30 feet. But now I need to collect all the ammo. Oh, 